What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Usually I'd start recording with a lot more energy and enthusiasm, but today's video is because of you know something we all don't want to happen to us. Over the weekend I was up in Cleveland, I was there for my sister's wedding, and I was at the grocery store, and I was backing out of a spot. Oh, so, you know, put the car in reverse, backup camera, clear as day, no one's there, no one's in the way. You know, look left, look right, all good. I back up. Take it out of reverse, put it in first gear, get ready to go, and I hear a big crunch. And some lady had backed into me. I look at her bumper, you know, it's it's displaced, few scratches on it. I look at my bumper. Completely dented. I can't really tell about, you know, scratches and whatnot yet because of the dent, but today's video is about getting this dent out. All right, now here we go. Here is the dent we're dealing with. And boom. There is the dent we're dealing with. As you can see here, I left this like this. This happened a few days ago, but I left it just in case I have to, you know, give the most play possible to get behind there to pop it out. So I left this off. I didn't push it back in yet. The lady's bumper was like this, except it was pretty much all the way off. I put hers back on because she was worried, but clearly I should be more worried than she was because this is all that happened to her bumper. It was like a scratch there. But there is this giant dent. As you can see, it dents in. Compared to this corner, that's perfect. <sighs> Now this video wasn't even planned to happen clearly because she ran into my bumper. I was actually editing a video. It'll probably be posted after this video, but this came up in the middle of it. So this will probably be posted first. And I'm gonna teach you how to get these dents out. So in order to get this dent out, I'm gonna have to get behind the bumper. There's two ways to do it. So I can go up from underneath or I can go up from, you know, I think there might be a way to get from behind this tail light and back in there. Okay, now that this tail light's out, it looks like the retaining clips in here can be popped up. We'll pull it out. I could kind of stick my hand in here. It's pretty tight, but for what I'm doing, it should, should be okay. Next step is to boil water. At this point is the, you know, you're gonna get boiling hot water, you're gonna heat up the plastic. It's gonna expand and it's gonna allow you to get in there from behind, push that dent out, it'll go back to its normal shape. But off camera, I went downstairs in the garage to do a little more investigating on my bumper. I thought I needed tools to get the bottom panel off, but there's a thing that's also, you know, snapped in. Took that off and then I peeled that plastic back. Now I could get my hand up and in there and pop that dent out, or I could go from on top where the tail light is. But I had the most leverage when I got down and underneath. Our water has come to a boil. I'm gonna take this camera, set it up in the garage, get this water down there so I can pop that dent out. Just so I don't burn my feet. We got a part of steaming hot water. I'm gonna dump it all over this area. You kinda wanna waterfall it down and put towels down just in case. I'm gonna get up in here and pop it out. Take a look at that. Ooh, baby. Look at that. 
Guys, you saw how messed up my bumper was before. Take a look at this. Boom. Same same car, tail lights out. Same car, same bumper, same garage. There's the towel. That dent has been pushed out. I'm gonna push this back into place and we'll be good to go. Sorry about the wind guys, but I just pulled out of the garage just to get, get you guys a natural light outside view of the dent being pulled from the bumper. As you can see, here's the dent, the dented side that was, and here is the brand new untouched side uh, straight out of the factory. So you can see that body line still intact. As you can see, this whole corner right here was dented in. There's obviously some marks here, but you can see these marks. I could get in here with my finger and rub them off. Like I said, if you guys have any dents or anything in your car, this also works on metal parts. Um, if it's on the metal port, dump your water on there. Take a, a, a sink plunger, not a toilet plunger. Pop it out. It'll work the same there. But as you can see, on plastic parts, you know, get behind it, push it out. The results are amazing. If I took that to a body shop or something, they probably charge me whatever. And if they want to get a new bumper, I just saved myself three hundred dollars. Look at that. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you found this, if you found this video useful and helpful, get down there. Please click subscribe. Leave me a comment if you've ever tried this or you need to try this. Get back in the comment section after you watch this video. Let me know how it worked out for you. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.